The idea of flying cars has been around since, well, cars were invented, basically. After more than a century, engineers and investors still haven't given up on the dream. Technology may finally be catching up, but today's version of flying cars aren't actually cars. They're called eVTOLs, or Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. And it's grown into a billion dollar industry where startups backed by investment from the auto and aerospace giants are racing to bring this technology to life. So far, the biggest commercial application for eVTOLs is air taxis carrying passengers through congested big cities. But there is also big potential in areas such as cargo and the military. Now, because they're electric, eVTOLs are quieter than helicopters, and they could be capable of autonomous flight. It's a huge global ambition. But why hasn't it taken off? There are a lot of variables in launching a new type of aircraft. First, it needs to be regulated and certified. But there weren't even rules for flying cars until recently. There's also a lot of infrastructure that needs to be in place in order for these to fly in cities. They need places to land, they need places to charge, and people need to actually want to ride them. Basically, it's an unproven market, despite the ever-growing investment. So, can this new generation of aircraft make it in the world? Watch Bloomberg Primer to find out more.